Hello again. I'm here to try to correct the problem on my video blog. I don't know what's going on with it, but um, it's kind of annoying to watch my lips move and the words come out at a different time. So I'm trying to figure that out. But in the meantime, I just wanted to continue speaking um, about polygyny and probably to get a little bit more clear. I was all over the place. I'm a newbie on YouTube, so forgive me, but <laughs> I am attempting to um, support um, an alternative lifestyle, which includes polygyny, and I explained it in my first blog that it is the relationship between one husband and several wives, and it's something that I'm interested in because I was introduced to it as an alternative to single parenthood which wasn't fun so I was looking for another way to have a relationship that would be supportive for my children and I feel like polygyny is the the best thing for children even my daughter right now she gets really worn out even with one child my daughter-in-law same thing one child wears them out but if they had, if the child had other parents in the household, namely other mothers in the household that they could talk to, um, it would give one mother a rest. And yes, the father, he should be there too. I'm not excluding him from child rearing. I just know that um, the nurturing energy that women have is very important in a child's early development. And from my experiences, when I was raising my children alone, I would get so stressed out. And I think that's really how people abuse their children is because they don't have enough help. So that's why I feel one of the reasons that polygyny would definitely benefit society, amongst other reasons. It's not just so that men could have more sex with more women. And uh, that's a misconception that I would like to try to dispel if possible, with this blog. So I mentioned Dr. Dixon Spears' book, uh, We Want For Our Sisters, What We Want For Ourselves. And I also mentioned Sabon Fusome's book. And in Sabon Fusome's book, she says that polygyny is when a woman is happy in her relationship and she wants to share that happiness. And she also says that women choose polygyny when they want to have more female energy in the house to make the house more lively. To me, that is the best description of it. I mean, besides everything else, but everything else aside, that is the best description to me of polygyny. So I would just like to speak a little bit more about um, how it's possible. You know, once you eliminated the jealousy and insecurity that a lot of women have, um, and you want to embrace the sisterhood, you don't want to be a single mother, and you have this man that you really, really love, and you may even have a child for, but he has several women that like him and want to be with him, and they pursue him. So what do you do? Do you get jealous? Do you give him an ultimatum? Do you break up your relationship? Now, remind I'm going I'm to remind you that you really do love this man. You don't want to let him go. Your child loves him. Um, what do you do? You're in a predicament. Or, like I explained my situation, what if you are already a single mother and your children's father is not around? Do you feel like your children don't need a father? Do you feel like... Uh, you as a woman are enough of a father and a mother. I'm going to tell you from experience, that's not true. Children need their father. There's a different energy that father fathers give. There are different gifts and blessings that fathers give. And I'm not a man, and I can't give my children uh, what a man could give my children. And I know that, like I mentioned before, is because I had my father, and I know the contribution that he made to our household. My mother could not have made that. You know, she made the contribution she made, he made the contribution he made, and that made us well-rounded um, young people and adults. So my 
wanting to come online, my speaking out about something that's in this society illegal, some people think immoral, um, is because I really feel strongly about the fact that it could actually save a lot of relationships and heal us, bring us closer together. That is my ambition. Nothing, nothing more than that. Um, someone commented on my blog and asked me, was I a woman? Even though I had a female picture uh, on my blog, and my name is Osset, which is a, a female deity. He still asked me, was I a woman? Because I guess it's so unbelievable that a woman would agree with or consent to polygyny. And I guess I can understand that. But in this lifetime, I have experienced um, enough life to know that monogamy wasn't working for me. It was, like I mentioned before, I've been married three times. It was a lot of work because I give a lot. I believe in traditional roles and that doesn't mean that I don't want to have a career, but I don't want to sacrifice a family for a career. I don't think that's a fair trade because in my African American relationships class, um, some students, they did a story about a woman who actually committed suicide because she had built her career, she had made the money that she wanted to make, she felt successful, but she was alone. She was alone. And she committed suicide as a result because in reality, what good is a career? What good is success? What good is money? What good is material possessions? And these are all the things that we put before family in this society. Uh, we tell our young people, we tell young girls, oh, don't go and have a baby. Keep your figure or get your career together first. And we really feel like you need a lot of money to raise a child. And if you look at people that have a lot of money, that particular child is not happy. And if you talk to that child, the only thing they ever wanted was love and time with their parents. And their parents think that the children needs all this material possessions, so they work to death and they don't spend any time with the children and that child just wants to feel loved. And when you have a polygynous family, you have enough people around that people can actually have a career, go to work, but there'll always be somebody there for the child. There'll always be somebody. And in my opinion, the more the merrier. Um, I'm looking forward to having a big family, a big family, the more the merrier. The men that I love, there's always a lot of women that love them. So I got cut off in one of my blogs, but I just wanna make it clear that if a woman loves the man that I love, She's not my enemy. She's my family. But she has to be initiated. She has to go through sacred woman training. Um, most women are, you know, even though they, the, the idea sounds good to them, they still have a lot of issues that they have to get over because, trust me, even women that says, say they're in, you know, they're down with polygamy and polygyny, when they're given the opportunity, the jealousy and the insecurity surface. So you really have to purge that first. And I'm going to talk about um, on my next episode what men need to do because men need training as well. I used to think that men were just natural polygynists and they can naturally handle many women because that's what they do anyway. They just don't tell anybody. But that is their issue, honesty, being straightforward and honest. So we'll talk about it next time. Good night.